Lauren Sanchez kicked Megan and Doria out of a realist birthday party on a yacht. No invite. Lauren Sanchez is getting lots of love in honour of her 54th birthday. A number of the Emmy Award winning journalists and helicopter pilots loved ones marked the special occasion with sweet social media posts on Tuesday. Among them was Jeff Bezos, who honoured his bride-to-be with an Instagram story tribute that featured a photo of her aboard an aircraft. Happy birthday, Lauren. I love you, baby, the 59-year-old billionaire wrote atop of the image. Mother-daughter duo Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian also gave Sanchez a shout-out. Jenner 68 wished a beautiful girlfriend a happy birthday, alongside a carousel of recent photos of the two friends. You're an amazing mum, fiancé, sister, daughter and girlfriend, and I'm so blessed to have you and Jeff in our lives, the momager captioned the post. We've made the most delicious memories together, and I can't wait to make more. She continued, I hope you have the best birthday filled with family and friends and all of your dreams come true. I love you so much. One day before a birthday, Jeff Bezos' girlfriend parties with her A-list friends on his yacht but she didn't invite Doria Ragland and Meghan Markle to the party. Lauren Sanchez is kicking off a pre-birthday celebration in style. Sun-kissed skin, sparkling champagne glasses and sultry red dresses. Lauren Sanchez's birthday wasn't just another year older, it was a high seas extravaganza aboard Jeff Bezos' magnificent yacht. Ahead of her 54th birthday on Tuesday, the birthday girl's star-studded buddy list was spotted having fun on the super yacht Coru in St. Bart's. Who do you think these A-listers are? Well, they're Hollywood wives, top-notch investors, social media influencers and so on. It's no surprise that Megan and Doria weren't invited to Lauren Sanchez's party, but this information needed to be repeated over and over to humiliate her for her lies. Didn't she spread the rumour that her mother was friends with Lauren and the high society around her when Doria was bought a ticket by WME to attend Lauren's charity event? It was the only event she could attend in Hollywood. Jeff and Lauren's later events didn't include the appearance of Meghan and Doria. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle displayed an obvious lack of self-awareness in their approach to royal life while working for the Crown. The Sussexes never really displayed a sense of duty, writer Esther Crook told an outlet. It only took a couple of years for them to storm out of the royal family like petulant children and release an interview with Oprah, where they were just complaining, release a book like Spare, where they were just complaining, release a Netflix documentary, where again, they were just complaining. It just goes to show that actually they didn't have a lot of grit, which demonstrated that their hearts weren't in it, until they had different motives, which don't align with what the royal family's about, she added. Crook continued, and we're seeing that as their stars continue to fall. You can see the flaws in the couple's characters and what they actually thought they were going to do as members of the royal family. On January the 8th, 2020, during their stay with Meghan's mum, Doria Ragland, in California, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released a statement to their socials, announcing their wish to become part-time working royals. The term Megxit was quickly coined by the media, and the duo completed their final royal engagement on March the 9th for Westminster Abbey's Commonwealth Day service. The royal rebels quickly went on the defensive when discussing their decision. <laughs>